Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and we are back with fractions again, but this time we're doing a little more comparing. Now, last time we talked about benchmark fractions, right? So we talked about one half being a benchmark. You could see it in a number line, like if you were at zero to one, one half would be right in the middle. So we can use benchmarks to compare. We can also use number lines. We can use pictures. So let's see, how would you solve this? Three fourths is greater than less than or equal to one third. All right, I want you to hit pause, grab your whiteboard, marker, picture, blah, 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 whatever. Get it and let's see how you would solve this. Everybody hit pause. Okay, I'm gonna take some guesses. What did you do? I'm gonna guess some people drew pictures. So let's check it out. So if I have three fourths, here's three fourths. So one, two, three, four. Each is broken into a fourth. And I need to shade three of them, right? So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Okay, let's do this one in thirds. So this is one third, two third, oops, another one third, and another one third. Okay, so each piece is worth one third. I'm gonna shade in one of them. Now you can probably see that this one has more shading, but I wanna use a common denominator to compare. So I actually wanna get the exact, uh, exact same number of pieces. So I'm gonna think about what I could do to each of these pictures to make it have the same number of pieces. So let's see, if I counted by, I'm gonna count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16. I'm gonna count by threes. So I counted by fours because I have a four for the denominator and now I'm gonna count by threes because I have a three for the denominator here. Three, six, nine, 12. Okay, so I see that there's a 12 on this list and a 12 on that list. So I know I can break it into 12 pieces for each of them. So right now I have a four by one array. I'm gonna do four times three because four times three makes 12. Okay, now I've got a three by one array and I'm gonna do a three by four array because I know three times four makes 12. So knowing those uh, multiplication facts can strongly help you with fractions. Not a lot of people think about that. So really, really think about how multiplication is related to fractions. Okay, so I have 12 pieces here and 12 pieces here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now I can see three, six, nine twelfths are shaded, and two, four twelfths are shaded. Now I can easily compare them because I have the same denominator. I know nine twelfths is greater than four twelfths. So you might have done that. Now I'm gonna actually take another guess, and I'm gonna guess that some of you probably thought about three fourths, um, and you probably know Here's zero, here's one, here's a half. Do you guys remember this? There's one fourth and three fourths. Maybe you thought about three fourths as something greater than a half. That would be using a benchmark fraction. It's actually made up of a half, so here's a half. But then we also had to jump another fourth. So three fourths is greater than a half. And maybe you used benchmarks again and you just knew that one third was less than a half. So you could have also just reasoned. You have to have three fourths greater than one third. Okay, let's try out another one. Erase your board if you're doing this with me or if you're drawing, you can um, just flip your paper over, whatever. You know the drill, you know what to do. All right, your next one is three fifths and three eighths. Three fifths is greater than less than or equal to three eighths. All right, I want you to stop and think about this. What do you notice? Hmm. 
Did you notice that we have the same numerator? Three and three. Maybe you used that information to solve it this time. So if you have a three and a three, which pieces are bigger? Are five pieces bigger or eight pieces bigger? There's my five pieces. So this is three fifths. I'm gonna draw three eighths stacked right on top because I wanna use my comparison tools. So here are four pieces. Each of my fourths are gonna be cut into eighths. Now I have eight pieces. And I can see there that this is actually smaller than that, but also you might know that eighths are smaller than fifths. And if you have three fifths, you will have more than three eighths. Or maybe you knew this one was more than half and you would need another eighth to make this one half. So maybe you used benchmarks again. There are so many different ways you can think about this, right? So three fifths is greater than three eighths. All right, kids, use those benchmarks, use the pictures, use your noggin. It's your turn. I'll see you next time. Bye.